we got a great topic today, right? We're talking about the importance of using referrals in real estate transactions. And, uh, you know, we're going to get into this, but, you know, I've seen real estate transactions fall apart. I've seen people get poor guidance. I've seen things happen. So it's important to have a core group of real estate professionals around us. Matt is going to talk about this today. Matt, welcome back to the program. Yeah, glad to be here. I, I thought this was an important topic. Um, uh, almost every single lead that I get in is from a referral. Yep. And that's what's most, and it's so important to me. And most people that, get referred that's how they generate their business is from word of mouth uh family friends previous customers that you did right by them and now they're porting someone that's also in need of your services in your direction to take care of them the way that you took care of them the first time around and so that's you know organic business is what we all strive for and that's the definition of organic business right there and because of that we take referral business at a whole new level than business that I might have paid for. You know, there's a lot of online leads and mm -hmm. uh, lead generation that you can get. But when it comes to a re uh, referral, there's an accountability there between the person that uh, I'm calling to for that service and the person that referred me. Using the referral network in real estate is extremely important. Uh, when it comes to getting things done. And knowing what, you know, our referral partners like Movement Mortgage can do, where we say, look, you know what, this may be somebody you're going to want to talk with. We connect you. And without a doubt, like uh, our clients are are glowing, right? They love working with you and with Movement, but also we connect them with an attorney, with a home inspector, with contractors, with, I mean, you name it, like there are 52 individuals involved on average in a real estate transaction that I calculated. And that's intense. And there's a lot of ways that a real estate transaction can go awry. It can fall apart, right? There's so many moving parts. There's so many people involved. And if you are not dealing with A plus players, you are shooting yourself in the foot. The biggest part is the accountability. So I'm accountable to, if Emilio refers me a client, not only do I work for that client, but I'm also working for Emilio because we're all, we all have a game plan and it takes a lot of different players to make that game plan work. We have our processes down. We have our teamwork. We're finishing each other's sentences. There's a lot of trust there to get the job done. Now, if Emilio has a client that is working with a random lender, an internet bank, a out of, uh, you know, out of touch uh, mortgage company, there's no accountability there between the, the bank and the real estate agent. So if, if one of those two people don't do their job, it could crumble. And there's a lot of money on the line.